Alrighty, let's have a day, let's have a day. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. Oh! All right, let's shut that thing down. Let's grab a rod, let's find them, boys and girls, let's find them. Control motor in the water. Let's fish some NLBN today, let's catch some fish, have some fun. Got a three inch NLBN here tied up with a eight ounce jig head, 20 pound Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon leader. And then we got my favorite setup right here. Pen Slammer 4, 2500, 20 pound braid, seven foot Fenwick Elite inshore medium. Goal today is redfish, snook, trout, tarp, and black drum, a little bit of everything. If I could get a little bit of everything today, I would have a blast, but let's see what we can find here fishing these shallows on the Ginu. So check this out in the water here. You can see all these squiggly lines all around the boat. If you guys can just barely see that. Those are from stingrays crawling around. It's pretty neat, I feel like I've never seen those little little cuts in and out in and out in and out from stingrays like that never really noticed that and there's a stingray right there there's the culprit got a redfish right here nice redfish see if he eats can't see him very well oh he took off on me he saw the line or something All right, well, I got two redfish in front of me. I got one up on the mangroves, and I got one right here. I actually already threw at him. He wasn't super interested, but I got a pair of something, actually. These might be drum. They might be reds, too. Let me see if I can get a good cast in front of them. Two fish. Yeah, they're reds. Oh, there we go. Tricked one. Tricked one. There we go. The reds have been quite spooky this, today, if you ask me. There we go. So all it took is getting the three inch right on the bottom and just across the, across the sand. Just scoop, 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 sliding in across the sand. Oh, that's all it took. I was trying every little bit of action to trick these redfish, and I've probably been through four or five at this point. A lot of them seem like they were spooking from the cast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But uh, I think I finally found the little trick for him. And that is just be as subtle as poss possible. He smoked it. Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. On that three inch NLBN. Blue tail. Finally figured out what they wanted, and that is just got to be super, super subtle. Water's still pretty cold. It just seems like they're not being super aggressive today. He was actually bigger than I thought. When I saw him in the water, he looked like he was maybe, honestly, 12 inches, but I could see him from a mile away in this crystal clear water. Go ahead and put him right on back. There we go. First fish down feels good when you've had a couple fish and they've rejected you and then you finally get the one to eat and I pretty much I mean I feel like I know exactly what the trick is gonna be throughout the day is just be as subtle as possible with the action and I was truly just scraping the sand they didn't want it super quick just scrape the sand bounce it stop it just like this here I'll show you guys just scrape the sand just like that that's all it took for him if you guys can see that scraping the sand. We'll try that technique on the next fish we see, and I hope it's the trick. All right, I gotta change up colors here or something. I'm, I'm throwing out reds left and right. They're just, it's almost like the splash alone is causing them to just turn the, turn the opposite direction. Let me change up colors here, see if I can get them fired up on something a little bit different. Let's try maybe something like this, like more of a glass minnow color. 
This looks like natural ice. Well guys, we just fished a shoreline that was probably about two miles long and I probably saw about 10 to 15 redfish and the hot majority of them were turning the second a lure was hitting the water, which is, it sucks. I don't, I don't have a good reason for that. Uh, and then the ones that didn't do that just seemed like they were just completely unfazed by what I was throwing. And I think that's because there is like no bait around. So when I put a lure in front of a redfish, it seems like they're just like, huh, that's uh, that's odd. I haven't seen anything like that recently. So it, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I fished the other day. The redfish were doing the same thing in a completely different area. I uh, don't know why. I really, really wish I did. The weather's warmed up now, and uh, I feel like they should be eating, but they are they were funky. And when one was funky, it seems like the, all the redfish in the area were behaving the exact same way. Luckily, I tricked one, but we're going to have to make a move here, hopefully an area where I can find snook and uh, black drum and some other species. But not bad. We found them. Just they were funky. But yeah, let me pull the trolling motor up. Let's move. All right, well, sun is pretty pretty high right now, and uh, we have a very good opportunity here along this shoreline for sight fishing. Hopefully, it's gonna be holding some more snook than the previous shoreline I just fished, so let's uh, see what we can find. I'm working with the uh, Natural Ice 3-inch NLBN, and uh, I might just keep switching colors until I can figure out what, what, what works for them, because you, as you guys can see, it's crystal clear, crystal, crystal clear. So I think the color is very important today these fish can see from probably six eight feet away and there's a fish right there you just slid up into the trees i don't know what that is oh nice caught the tree <laughs> oh my luck something just slid up in there i don't know what it is but oh justin come on <laughs> oh, a couple fish couple fish right here Got one. Yeah, redfish smoked it. Smoked it. Smoked it. Two of them right there. Good fish. I'll tell you what, they ate in the shadow. I think if you can get a fish in the shadow versus being out in the sun here, they are like 10 times more likely to eat. I'm not saying this one wouldn't have ate in the out in the sun, but general rule of thumb, I've always felt like fish in the shadow under a dock are always more likely to eat. And this one ate, he ate good. He actually ate it and swam with it about six feet before I really set the hook because I couldn't tell if he actually ate it or he was taken off from the bait. Well, didn't take long at all for us to find a redfish there. This one, I think he's a little smaller than the first one from this morning, but let me see if I can go ahead and just pop him off here. Whoa, settle, settle, settle didn't take long they are sitting real real shallow here today every fish I've seen has been in pretty much inches of water all right he's out and he is free to go back in the water here not the smoothest release ever <laughs> but there he goes all right the spot change quickly quickly I realized that was the right move Almost immediately ran into some redfish there. Three inch worked for him. It's a good presentation for today where the fish are, they are being clearly finicky in my opinion. You wanna always try to go when they're being finic finicky, in my opinion, with the smallest presentation you got in the boat. And uh, this is it. So if you guys can check this out here, check out how clear it is right here. There's even a little bit of grass right in here. These fish are just in inches that's probably eight inches deep right there in inches working the shoreline let's uh let's get some more i am uh real happy about that one real happy if we could get some bigger ones maybe some snook we're gonna start having ourselves a real real good day another thing i just thought of here if you see my trolling motor it's at like a 45 degree angle figured i'd explain this to you it's because if I have it straight down, it'll actually be scraping the bottom here and it'll be hitting the bottom of the boat with how shallow it is. So if you angle it up on my trolling motor, this is a riptide transom mount. Uh, you can actually still use the trolling motor. It looks a little funky, but it is a little secret I learned a long time ago. Just angle it up like that and uh, it'll still get you kicking here just enough to work the shoreline because like I said, incredibly shallow where we're at. 
All right, redfish just came out of the tree right here at me. Drop that one right there, see if he sees it. Oh, got him, got him. There we go, that. So that was the technique I used to catch the fish this morning, first one. Get that bait down on the bottom and scrape it across the sand. Get that redfish fired up to come and see what it is. And he ate it. I almost thought he looked at it and took off on me, but he actually had it in his mouth. It's quite amazing how fast a fish can inhale something without you even seeing it. They can, you know, in their mouth and dude, it feels like a quarter of a second. The bait can go from sitting there in the sand to boom, straight on back. There we go. We're figuring something out today. I'll take it. Not a huge one, but they're what's here to catch, so we're going to catch them. Third redfish of the day there. Another one. I like this color. I like this color a lot. That's natural ice. A limited batch color from, from NLBN came out. Shoot, I don't remember the last time they came out with this. Maybe we'll have to convince them to drop it again since we're catching some fish on it today. But here we go. Let's go. Let's get him unhooked and get him back. He's probably a... This guy, we'll throw him on the ruler here. He's probably 20 inches. He is... <laughs> I tell y'all, I'm a good guesser. 20 inches on the dot, maybe 19 and a, nah, I'd say he's 20 inches on the dot. I tell y'all, I'm pretty good at guessing fish lengths. Go ahead and put him right on back. Off he goes. Oh. That's why I say sometimes with a bigger fish, sometimes I don't go through the hassle of measuring them. Because for one, I don't have a ruler big enough, but when I guess the length of a fish, a lot of times people don't believe me, but I'm pretty dang good. I'm pretty dang good. All right, three fish down. Let's uh, let's keep rolling, let's keep rolling. These, uh, these mangroves are holding them right now. I just, there's gotta be a snook in here somewhere. It's funny because I've, I've fished this, this shoreline, you know, a few years back. I don't think I've fished it in a couple years, but you come through here and it's, it's nothing but snook. And then I come through here today and it's nothing but redfish. It's funny the way that works. I don't see any snook. It could be water, water uh, temp that is causing that, but no snook yet. Well, figured it was time for a break. Let's eat. All right, well, um, so far today, it hasn't been too hot. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the boat back in the water tomorrow morning and we're gonna focus snook. Uh, today, we just didn't really find the species and the fish like I wanted to. We found probably, I don't know, 10 to 15 reds throughout the day. We nailed three of them, and for the most part, they were acting real funky. They are going the opposite direction of wherever I landed that lure, and uh, they were funky. I think it was because of how low the water was. It's still kind of cold, and also it was crystal clear, so. They were on edge today, but tomorrow we're gonna focus straight snook. So that being said, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Welcome to day two on the water on the Ginu. And uh, today we're gonna target snook. The weather is absolutely beautiful. It is pretty dang calm right now. And uh, well, for the most part, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, so we are targeting snook. I'm gonna go ahead and tie up when we get to the spot. I think I'm gonna throw the K-tail today, but we'll see how I'm feeling when I get there. Maybe I'll throw the three inch, I don't know. But uh, here we go, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get to the spot, let's catch them today. Let's do it, I'm excited. Well, I was on my way to the snook spot and the first thing I saw was a triple tail on a, uh, on a floating piece of structure here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the NOBN three inch here if I can get it out. We'll see if he'll eat it. Sometimes triple tail are super, super like keen on shrimp. So we might try a, an artificial shrimp here to get him to eat. I don't know, let's see. We'll see if we can catch him. As always, I try to catch whatever there is to catch. So he's uh, he's just back there. So uh, let, me, uh, let me get up here. I drove past him and he, he bolted off the, uh, off the floating, uh, the buoy, I guess it is. And uh, so I'm gonna give him a minute here, wait for him to float back up on it and we'll hit him, we'll see what see what he's thinking, seeing how he's feeling. All right, so immediately he popped right back up there. He's a good one. Unless there's more than one, this is a big, big triple tail. I mean, maybe potential keeper. All 
I don't know if he saw that or not. I don't think he did. Sit right here, wait for him to pop right back up. He'll usually go straight back to the, in this case, it's a buoy. All right, I think I gotta just try a shrimp for him. Doesn't seem like this triple tail is aggressive enough. Maybe he's just not big enough. I haven't got a good look at him. I'll try a shrimp for him here. I'm gonna go check this one over here. There's another buoy to the left. There could be another one over there. I'm just gonna give him a minute here. There's actually another one on this buoy. Oh my gosh. Oh, my hammer. Just what I was expecting. Nice fish. Nice fish. Gosh, he hammered it. Good one. Good triple tail. Okay, so I had that one on the other buoy, and I said, let me go check this other buoy and make sure that there's not another one around here while I'm still right in the same area. Oh, ho, ho. good fish. Close to a keeper, really close to a keeper. I'm gonna have to put him on the ruler here. Like I said, sometimes they're just super dialed in on shrimp because that's really what they're sitting here on these, well, buoys, any type of structure you can find inshore, offshore, triple tail will sit on them. Ah, I don't think he's a keeper, but he's close. This one might have eaten the paddle tail, not gonna lie. He didn't even think twice when this came in, in range of him, just hammered it. Just absolutely smashed it there. Beautiful <laughs> triple tail. We got him on the shrimp. Got him on the shrimp. Man, I don't know. We might end up fishing triple tail today. Let's see how long he is. They gotta be 18 inches to keep. He's not quite there. He is zero all the way to he's a 16 incher oh my gosh i can't believe he ate it like that quick it came within range of him and i just felt the hardest thump beautiful fish just lay him right on back there he goes oh that was sweet that was real sweet that's why i sometimes you know i try to always keep a shrimp rigged up in the boat just in case you find a picky black drum or something like this or a triple tail while you're snook fishing. Let me go ahead and check that other one, see if he's back up on it. Whew, that was cool. That was real cool. All right, so here we go. We're gonna drop the trolling motor in the water here. We're gonna start looking for snook. Beautiful day to snook fish. Today I'm going with the uh, going with the K-tail. These guys will be out early March. I know that for sure. Early March, you guys can finally get your hands on them. Today I'm going with 5-0 unweighted. I want this lure to land as silently as possible today. But it should get them. It should get them. I want to work the surface. I want to catch fish. So, oh, that scared me. That's a dolphin. I was gonna say that's the biggest snook I've ever seen. Oh, I got him. Oh, that's a bluefish. I was gonna say, this guy might break me off. All right, I guess it's something. Been snook fishing for, well, probably a couple hours now, and I've seen close to no snook. The one I did see and had a good opportunity at, he nosed it all the way back to the boat, and never committed. Some bluefish here. I never catch these guys. All right, off he goes. He absolutely shredded the K tail. Basically, bit it in half there. I'm gonna have to swap to a new one. They got razor sharp teeth. But what I was saying earlier is I have not seen almost any snook today. None. I've actually probably seen more triple tail and snook, which is very disappointing, but 
we're gonna keep looking for them here. Well, snook fishing today has not been amazing. I, I chose where I was gonna fish today and had my game plan ready based on how the fishing was about a month ago. And it seems clear to me that the fish have just shifted around on me because they're just they're just not here. So we're gonna have to switch up the game plan for the rest of the day. I mean, we still got plenty of time to catch some good fish today. I just gotta switch it up because these this, this type of water and fishing just isn't really holding them. It's clear, It's uh, it's the water's definitely lower as I was experiencing yesterday. And uh, we just gotta switch it up and figure something out here. But uh, I'm gonna bring the trolling motor up, start the engine, move on to the next spot. Oh, huge jack. Big jack, big jack. Oh my gosh. Oh man, he's about to break my rod. Oh, there we go. There's a little something. Oh, I saw them swooping around the dock there. I honestly thought they were snook for a second. Big jack. It's not huge, but it's probably 10 pounds. I'd say, yeah, I call him a big jack. Oh, stay out of there. Oh. Dude, I didn't even reel it like two feet before he just inhaled it. Oh, that one. Yeah, he smoked it. Oh, pop that out of there. It's a day. I'll take whatever's willing to bite. Slide him right on back. Decent fish. A little bit of energy, excitement there. A little snook on it, big snook on it. Oh my gosh, come on, eat it. Monster on it. Didn't eat, didn't commit, man. He was nosing all over it. There's the one. Oh, no, that's Jack. Dang. Oh, pulled it right there. Oh, I was ready for a snook there after that last follow-up. Oh, I was ready for a snook. I mean, I surely had a big one followed up. I could see the wake and everything. He just never really committed to it. That jack kind of threw me off there. I was ready for that to be a snook. All right, let's keep grinding. Let's keep grinding, keep working. We're gonna, we're gonna end up with something, I feel it. Well, I just spent probably about two hours chasing snook and I found a couple, but they, I mean, every single one was just like lethargic i think the water's just still pretty cold and it's kind of a pain because they just don't want to eat they don't want to move in my opinion like they they're not putting any energy into chasing anything so water's cold we got two jacks out of that though we're gonna go ahead and make a move here got another little trick i can uh pull to try to find some more fish for the rest of the day but we're not doing half bad the wind has picked up quite quite a bit Man, I just want some snook today. I just can't believe it. The snook are just, they're funky, real funky today. But here we go. Let's uh, make a move and uh, hopefully we find some snook that are hungry, especially hungry. A lot of nice overhangs here with big shadows. Oh, there it is. Knew it was bound to come. Oh! <laughs> oh! I gotta retie my leader. I'll put one more cast in there. <laughs> Man, what can I do to get a snook today? What can I do? <laughs> There's a fish. What even is this? Little Jack? Dude, come on. Give me a snook, man. 
It's a really light colored jack. I don't know if I've ever really seen one like this. His back is almost completely silver. Usually they're a bit darker. All right, bud, come on. Tell me where the snook are at. Let them know. Let them know. I got a four inch K-tail for him. All right, last cast here. Not a bad one, come on. All right, that's gonna have to do it. What a grind, man. What a grind. Oh, all right, guys. I mean, today was a day. It was a day. Uh, I cannot believe I couldn't find a snook today. I just threw and threw and threw, and I, I didn't see him like I thought I should see him today. I mean, we still are in February, but man, I thought I would have whooped him today. We are coming off a full moon. That could have been part of the issue. But I just didn't see him, and the ones I did see were like so skittish and so lazy. Like they were just wanted nothing to do with anything I was throwing. And that was similar for the most part. The redfish were similar yesterday. So maybe it does have something to do with the full moon, but what a day. We did get a cool triple tail. That was nice. And we got some, some decent jacks, but the snook man there just not awake yet. It, it, it's almost spring. It really is. But man, they're just not awake. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I, I love to show you guys, you know, the good and the bad of fishing, the truth of it all, you know, some days it's easy and some days it's hard and today was definitely hard it was it was a grind absolute grind but uh if you guys want to try any of the nlbn baits be sure to check them out at nlbn.com and the k-tail will be coming out in march so keep an eye out on that but yeah what a day sun is just starting to uh creep low on me so i gotta head back to the ramp thank you guys so much today for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and that's that i will see you guys in that next video